1910 Sears. This looks like an 1899. Yeah. Square two axle forged into a steering <laughs> knuckle. Gas headlamps. Leather bra. It's actually got a bra to protect the front end. <laughs> Crank start. It says 1910. 1910 Sears. Two cylinder opposed Two -cylinder. with a heavy flywheel. Pre-igniter cylinder, exposed valve train, two fans, air cooled, drip, little cup for the gasoline, get a little gas in those cylinders, hard to even describe what this is, Sears, there's the brass tag, model, uh, e number three four zero two or something. Clutch drive. Wow, all specially made and cast. Nothing off the shelf with this. Oak wheels maybe. Clamps around the spokes for the chain drive sprocket. A internal expanding brake space. There's some asbestos in those. 1910 Sears. Little rust in the fenders. Totally original. Huh. Hard to describe this. It's got a wooden clutch, like a snow blower. Cork, wood, oak. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. Infancy of the automobile. Last year there was a 1905 Cadillac with the Surrey top and the bell. It's got a steel frame and running board brackets. Mechanized tractor. Mechanized carriage. More like a tractor than a car. Safety wired bolts. Not much threads on those U bolts that go around the spokes. There's no threads showing through. Hmm. Special wrench. Okay, the One wrench does everything. Cars are now lining up, about to approach the engine from the field, and we have done very well this year in keeping an order and having a nice orderly parade. Brass carpet. Spring-driven fans. There's a lot of details to take in here. When Emergency brake. Push the pedal until it hits one of the notches. That's the brake. Brake and emergency brake all in one. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Tiller steering. Got some adjustments here for the spark maybe? Throttle? Oh yeah. Send the rod over to do the timing or adjust the valve intake, I don't know. It's got a wooden clutch, like a snowblower. You have to look underneath to see it. Oh, That's yeah. how you select yep. your speeds. One disc against the other. Yep. Oh yeah, so it's uh, wherever that's, how far it is from the center. Yep, just like my snowblower. Yeah. Dual, uh, it's got posi, dual chain drive, uh, ah, dual exhaust. It's amazing that it survived, huh? Thank you. One tail light, dual exhaust, original mufflers, all original. It's just incredibly original. Yeah. Brakes on both back wheels. <laughs> How did it survive? 104 years. Sears model. Model H, number 3409. It's a 409. <laughs>
ignition system, spark plugs, ignition wires, fuel cups, crankshaft, crank cover, yeah. leaks a little oil. Wow. Hmm. He's got one thing that's added. Yep. Not too bad after a hundred years. One yeah. little switch. Interesting. You think they really made like 3,000 of these? I don't know. It says model 3409 or number 3409. Yeah. I don't know. Probably. It was a really popular contraption. Yeah, you'll have to muck it up. Wow. Dual springs. A lot of proprietary casting stuff. Stuff made just for this vehicle. Certain things were probably off the shelf, the running board. This is amazing. <laughs> it's so primitive. All right, we had our fun with our tiller steered 1910. Ooh, ooh. A little tightening right there. Amazing. 1910 Sears. Probably came in a box. Some assembly required.